这些使门徒们看起来在在做场比赛。Do we ever do this as Christians in the church? 但是我们教会里面，我们是不是也这样做这样的事情 ？Do we want to have the greatest church? 我们是不是要最好的教会 ？Do we want to be the greatest preachers? 我们是要成为最好的讲员 ？The best leaders? 最好的一个领袖 ？The greatest evangelists? 最好去传福音的人 ？That win the most people to the Lord? 能够为主赢得最多的人 ？The best theological student writing the best essays? 或者最好的神学生写出个最好的神学论文？ This passage reminds us it's not about being the best. 但是这段经文提醒我们，我们生活不想不是要我们自己强调说我们要是最好的。It's not about having the highest rank. 不是我们达到最高的标准。Grace is not a competition. 恩典呢不是一个比赛。It's about being a community of God's saved individuals. 但是有关系一个社区是被神所拯救的一群人。It's not about having the best person on your team. 不是说你在你的这整个施工团队里面有最好的人。It's about who gets to belong and to participate. 就是说谁能属于这个团体，谁能够对这个团体有所贡献。And that's everyone. 那是每个人。Grace reverses rank. 恩典会让我们整个阶级的概念所有反转。Now scene two. 看到第二个场景。We have an independent exorcist. 我们也看到另外一个那种传教人。The disciples as ministry police. Ah, 这样那个这些使徒们好像是那个宣教警察一样。And we have Jesus, the wise teacher. 什么？还有这个耶稣，一个充满智慧的老师。Verses forty-nine and fifty. 第四十九到第五十节。John answered, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to stop him because he does not follow with us. But Jesus said to him, Do not stop him. For whoever is not against you is for you. John said, "Master, we saw a man casting out demons in your name, and we tried to stop him because he does not follow with us. But Jesus said to him, 'Do not stop him. For whoever is not against you is for you.' John said, 'Master, we saw a man casting out demons in your name, and we tried to stop him because he does not follow with us. But Jesus said to him, 'Do not stop him. For whoever is not against you is for you.'" John said, "Master, we saw a man Four men, four blind men, fell into a pit with an elephant. 有四个瞎子跟一只大象掉到个坑里。They were trying to feel around to see what it was. 他们就是互相开始，这四个瞎子开始摸一摸，到底知道到底跟他跟他们一起掉到洞里面的是什么东西。One of them grasped the snout of the elephant and thought it was a snake. 有一个人抓到了这个大象的鼻子，以为说这是一个蛇。One of them felt the tip of the tusks and thought it was a spear. 哦，有个人摸到了象牙，他以为说那是一个那个长枪。One of them felt the leg and thought it was a tree. 有一个人摸到了脚，以为说那是一棵树。One of them felt the tail and thought it was a rope. 有一个人抓到他的尾巴，他以为那是一个绳子。None were right. They needed to listen to one another. 没有一个人是对的，他们必须要互相听听对方所讲的东西。They needed to work together. 他们需要同工在一起。In this passage, we see the disciples. Being different from one another, 我们看到这段经文讲到，这个使徒跟别人是觉得不一样的。They saw some people doing some stuff different, and they disagreed. 他们看到别人跟他们做的事情有点不一样，他们开始不同意这个人的看法。The other people were even doing the ministry in Jesus' name. 因为其他人也是奉耶稣的名在开始做传传教的工作。If they could have worked together, it would have been better. 如果他们能够一起工作，那可能会更好。And that's what Jesus says. 这其实耶稣这边所要讲的是 ，In our church life, do we sometimes have the same attitude? 但是我们整个教会生活当中，我们有时候是有同样这种态度。If we see another group of Christians doing ministry different to us, do we think that is worse than us? 如果我们看到一群其他的教不同的人奉耶稣名一起来传教，但是跟我们不一样，我们觉得他们是不是比我们更不好 ？Do we have this attitude to maybe other denominations? 我们是对其他的宗派有这样子的概念， Or do we think is the best? 还是说我们觉得金金外是最好的？ I said this and I enjoy being a Baptist. 我说因为我很喜欢成为一个金金外牧师。But sometimes we can have the wrong attitude. 但是有时候我们可能会有不一样的这种态度。嗯。Do we secretly, would we, would we sort of not mind too much if other denominations kind of ended or stopped? 
我们的心里面是不是讲说，是不是其他的宗派慢慢凋零，慢慢就消失，是不是很好 ？Some churches we might say, oh, those cold, lifeless, dead churches that say the same thing every week. 我看到哦，那些教会那个教会，其实是又死又没有生气，又冷漠。看看他们每个礼拜都讲同样的事情。They're on their way out. 他们慢慢慢慢开始掉。Other churches, we might say they're crazy, fundamentalist, or wacko. 那那个他很很那个很习惯很极端那种激进那个基本派的那些教会。What What's the Mandarin word for wacko? Wacko. <laughs> yeah.、Um, it, the point in this passage is not that about we being the right ones and stopping the other ones. 这段经文是讲的不是我们就是对的，其他人都是不对的。It's not about party lines. 不是说我们一些。这个我们宗派里面所要持的一些观点。It's about appreciating and partnering with and learning from others. 我们开始需要开始跟别人去同工，去了解到别的宗派都在讲些什么事情。Grace makes us open to others who are imperfect like us. 恩典让我们能够跟别的人一起让开放，一起沟通，因为我们跟他们一样不完全的。So in the former passage we saw that grace reverses rank. 前一段经我们看到，恩典让我们颠覆了我们自己阶层的观念。And this scene teaches us that grace relativizes party lines. 这个这段经我们看到的是，恩典是与我们世俗的观念是相对的。So the next scene, scene three. 我们看到第三幕。We have some offended Samaritans. 我们看到一些被受到那个那个歧视的一个撒玛利亚人。We have some fire-breathing disciples. 有些是非常那种火火烈的一些。And the Lord who is very focused. 一个非常注重他该做什么事情的一个主。Verse fifty one. 第五十一节。When the days drew near for him to be taken up, he set his face to go to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him. On their way, he entered a village to the Samaritans to make ready for him, but they did not receive him because his face was set towards Jerusalem. When his disciples James and John saw it, they said, "Lord, do you want us to command fire to come down from heaven and consume them?" But he turned and rebuked them. They went on to another village. Jesus 被接上身的日子到了，他就定义向耶路撒冷去，便打发使者在他前面前头走。他们到了撒玛利亚的一个村庄，要他要为他预备。那里的人不接待他，因为他面向耶路撒冷去。他的门徒雅各、约翰看见了，就说：“主啊，你要我们吩咐火从天上降下来，烧灭他们吗？就像以利亚所做的吗？”耶稣转身责备雅各门徒说：“你们的心如何？你们并不知道。人子来不是要灭人的性命，是要救人的性命。”说着就往别的村庄去了。I want to tell you another story. 跟大家讲另外一个故事。It's a story about a certain unidentified child. 我要讲那个另外其中一个小孩。It may or may not be about my son. 可能不是有关我的儿子的。A certain child was on a certain playground. 有个小孩在一个公园里面。Playing on a bridge with another certain child. 在公园里面，那个傻子玩在桥上，在跟另外一个小孩一起玩。Child one with child two， 小孩一跟小孩二。They had different playground goals。他们在整个公园里面玩有不一样的目目标目的。Child one wanted to go this way across the bridge。第一个小孩要从桥的这边过到桥的那边。Child two wanted to go the other way。桥第二个小孩从桥的那边要过来桥的这边。Child one rejected child two's way. 第一个小孩就不喜欢这个第二个小孩要走的这样的方向。So child two removed child one from the bridge. 呃，第二个小孩就把这个小孩踢从桥上推下来。I know one of the children involved. 我知道其中一个小孩是谁。And I'm not saying which one it was. 我不想说，我只不想讲讲的是哪一个。We see the same thing in this passage. 其实我们今天在这段经文也看到同样的事情。Jesus had a goal going one way. Jesus 有个目标要往耶路撒冷去。It was to Jerusalem. 他要往耶路耶路撒冷方向走。He had an appointment with the cross and an empty tomb. 他与十字架跟那空者墓有那个约。It was in Jerusalem. 他是在耶路撒冷
And this is a huge moment in Luke's gospel. The Samaritans had a different goal. Who remembers John's gospel, chapter 4? Jesus had the discussion with the woman at the well. A Samaritan woman. They have a theological discussion around where is the right place to worship. Jews worship in Jerusalem. Samaritans worship in Samaria. So Jesus is on his way not to Samaria. This was a painful reminder of the differences between Jews and Samaritans. The rejection was obvious and predictable. And so they reject him completely. And the disciples want to call down vengeance on them. It reminds me of Peter taking his sword and cutting off the soldier's ear in the Garden of Gethsemane. It's like Peter says to the guard, if you do that to my leader, if you arrest him, I'll sort you out. Both in the garden and here, when Jesus is in Samaria, Jesus rebukes them. He rebukes Peter for wanting to cut off his ear. And more than that, he actually restored his ear back. Perhaps he would need that ear to hear about the gospel later. What a mistake it would be to cut off that ear. And in Samaria it is the same. He remains focused and goes on to the next town. Those Samaritans would need to exist to hear about the gospel later. They wouldn't get it later if they were wiped off the, the face of the planet. Can we sometimes have this retaliating attitude in the church? Do we sometimes try to fix people that disagree with us? If someone says something or does something to us, we do something and say something back. This passage instructs us not to retaliate against those who oppose or reject us. We are to stick to the goal that we are aiming for, which is Jesus. Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem, but we are on our way towards Jesus. He is our goal. And we may encounter others who are not so keen on Jesus. They might reject us because we are so focused on Jesus. Should we storm off and judge them? Jesus would say no. We just head on. Maybe they will focus on Jesus later. 
Grace rebukes retaliation. And now scene four. We have a naive promise keeper. Or should I say promise maker? We have some people who are family first. And we have a, a savior who is suffering. Verse 57. As they were going along the road, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes, birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. To another he said, Follow me. But he said first, Lord, first let me go and bury my father. But Jesus said to him, Let the dead bury their own dead, but as for you, go and proclaim the kingdom of God. Another said, I will follow you, Lord, but let me first say farewell to those at my home. And Jesus said to him, No one who puts a hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. 第五十七节，他们走路的时候，有一个人对耶稣说：“你无论往哪里去，我要跟从你。”耶稣说：“我里有洞，天上的飞鸟有窝，只是人子没有枕头的地方。”又对一个人说：“来，来跟从我。”那
是不是神很轻易诱惑我们这样子的跟从他的人我们可能作为呢可能我们发现有些人比较容易的去爱他们去服侍这些人我们是不是能够代表说我们生活在这个社区呢 是不是我们这个整个会堂当中有一些是在我们社区有，但是我们教会里面没有的人？或者是我们只是对我们自己现有状况很舒服。it's not about looking after our family first. It's about extending the kingdom of God to everyone. Family is important. But the kingdom is first. There is grace for all at the table of God. So the four points this passage has for us is that firstly grace reverses rank. Grace relativizes party lines. And grace rebukes retaliation. And grace reorders our priorities. The ministry of grace is about the person of grace. Jesus Christ. He is the one welcomed when we welcome a child. Or someone who is not top level. He is the one who directs us to work with others. Even when they minister a little bit differently to us. He is the one who guides us away from retaliation. And leads us on to the goal of being complete in Him. And He is the one who is to be followed above all others. Even those most naturally dear to us. This 